Well, folks, this is the mighty Nile River, at least the portion that we're on. Eventually, we're actually going to get on the way and ride on this thing somewhere, but right now we're not. But way over here in the distance, you can see remnants of the 2010 vacation as a hot air balloon with the mountains in the background, kind of like Cappadocia, but it's only one balloon. But anyway, we're looking back over the area of Luxor. Luke Shore, or how you, pronounce, how you want to pronounce it, I would call it Luxor. And, like I said, it just, it's just seemed like to me it's not as wide as the Mississippi, but it's probably much longer. But this is the Nile River here in Egypt. It's time to get on the bus. Where are we going, dear? What's the name of the place we're going? Dan Dandra or something like that. The water's too shallow for us to take the, bu the boat up, so we're going to take the bus instead. We can say two side towers. And there was that we'll say it's come back from 170 AD. Still in place. Like the animals missing his head, though. Uh, this uh, pieces of stone where we are Obvious inside things. the gateway in front of us. This is Roman style. Roman time, 175, as we said. Uh, I can see like the whole is one of the dove things. Mm -hmm. Remember yesterday when we were talking about dove things, having the wood to move the blocks, to get the pieces together? Yes. Okay, yes. so we can see these holes, this is what is like. Yeah. They cut it. They cut the stone and just put it like that. Three stones here. They back all the way to 170 AD. The scene, the only ones survived for us. Almost like the tablets that Moses would have had. This is the temple, what was left the temple of Dandra. Dandra is located not too far, maybe about a good hour boat or bus ride from Luxor. Yeah, it's very similar to some of the stuff you saw yesterday. You can see the drawings up under the bottom there, maybe. So the, we found like a document. So you can see what's left of the temple. So the use life after after this. And by the way, when we were talking, we said like uh, to connect that the water effect, we'll see the water effect all the way through the north of the Milakur coming about, even the Milakur, the inner section of the temple. Still standing after all these years. You can see the engravings inside the brick. The hieroglyphics. It's a little bit more clearer from this angle. Schools in particular, because it was a two-story building. They were talking about uh, the king and his right to be on the throne of Egypt. Greeks, they were foreigners, they were out of the country, had no right to take the throne of Egypt. So they used to add these buildings to represent the same divine pair. Like hardship suit like the other kings to ensure their rights, I mean like to be on the throne. So we found two of them, the first the first two. The other buildings, they were like a sanitarium. A sanitarium, a place for healing. We found the part of the schools we're going to see on the top. We found also a place for a spa, rooms with a passage of water goes through these rooms. I mean like it looks like a, a, a mineral water, I mean like getting through the rooms, which is like one of their ways for a spa. We found this. So the doctor was like very famous mm -hmm. at the time. And he used to spend nights along this corridor. And then they had a group. But you have to imagine that was like a wolf following us, I mean, like along the right side while we were walking around the place. This one of the dog tables, very clear. Very, I mean, like this piece of wood you used to put in between the blocks. All right. No problem.